Hello, second grade, and welcome to your online Spanish class. Today's lesson will review the days of the week, días de la semana, and then we will begin a new lesson on classroom objects, objetos de clase. This worksheet will look at the days of the week. So some notes to remember are that the Spanish calendar does not begin with Sunday, but begins with Monday. And the days of the week in Spanish are not capitalized unless they begin a sentence. So on the top portion of your worksheet, you will just be copying the days of the week in Spanish on the lines right here. And on the bottom portion, they want you to match the days of the week in Spanish and in English. Now try to do this section without looking at the top portion. Okay, see how many you can match without looking at the answers. So here are the days of the week in Spanish. Días de la semana. Lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, Sábado, domingo. Anytime you see this little speaker icon in your PowerPoint, that means that something has been recorded that you can listen to. Días de la... Okay, if you do not have a printer, then you should write your answers on a sheet of paper for all of your worksheets. Okay, this is your second worksheet, which is a crossword puzzle of the days of the week. Uh, again, so if you don't have a printer, you can just write across and then list number two and seven, and then down and then one through six, and then just write the Spanish day of the week to match that answer. Okay, so this is the first page for the classroom objects. So you can see that these are all things that we would see in our classroom. So first thing you will do is practice the pronunciation of the words. And here they are. These are the words in Spanish. I will read the left column first and then the right. Silla. Silla. Puerta. Puerta, ventana, ventana, lápiz, lápiz, papel, papel, escritorio, escritorio, mesa, mesa, pluma, pluma. Borrador, borrador, cuaderno, cuaderno, libro, libro, tijeras, tijeras. So on the top portion of the worksheet, you will simply copy the word in Spanish into the box so you can practice writing the words. Now let's look at some of the special sounds. Remember the double L in silla makes the Y sound, y. Okay, then we have the A with the accent here for lapis. So remember that stresses that A. Another special sound we have is the double R, which remember kind of sounds like you're cranking up the car and you have to roll your tongue, so borrador and then one other sound that kind of can be confusing is that j remember the j in spanish makes the english h sound so tijeras now on this bottom portion of your worksheet you will be writing the spanish word for the english word that they give and i gave you an example here for number one where it says window you would write ventana These are the words. So 
this is another worksheet for the Spanish classroom objects. So here, what you have to do is find the words that fit in the blocks. And you can look at the number of letters for each word and also look at the shape of the boxes. That's going to give you some clues as to which word fits in there. So, for example, number one is silla. Okay, we see there are two smaller boxes and then two longer boxes and a smaller box. So those two long boxes told you that that's a longer letter. So this would be silla with the double L for those rectangles. So here is a recap of today's lesson. What you need to do first is practice the pronunciations. So listen to those recordings and practice saying the words in Spanish. Then you should complete the worksheets. If you don't have a printer, remember you can write your answers on a sheet of paper. And then your parents can send me a copy of your paper either by taking a picture or scanning it if they can do this at home. And then they will send it to this email address, northhenryspanish at gmail.com. So I know you guys are working very hard on all your classroom assignments from Miss um, Clarice. So I'm giving you guys until Monday. So anytime you guys have a chance, just work on a worksheet here and there. And then uh, you should be able to get that into me by Monday the 23rd. So the workbook pages are going to be on GradeLink and also in the email attachment to your parents. So you can download them there or you can just look at them on the screen and complete it on your piece of paper. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. You can reach me by email, phone or text. Uh, if you have any questions, I am here for you. I hope you guys are staying safe. Remember to wash your hands. God bless you guys and I hope to see you soon.